<laughs> Very competitive. Welcome back. Thanks so much for joining us. We have, uh, actually this guy was in our last segment. Uh, this is Matt Bell. He's, he's going to be talking about something totally different than the rotary spaghetti dinner. Yes. And you're going to be talking about basketball league? Is that, is that yes, local? Yes, men's or? adult basketball league. Yes, that's correct. Men's, this is a men's only yes, thing? Yes, males. Yes. Males only. There is a female league out there already that's been established for several years now. Mm -hmm. And a few years ago, I inquired uh, with, with Parks and Rec and John down there and asked if I could put something together, and they were very receptive. So to you it. used the, the female as a model, the female leagues as, as a model to do yours? Um, no, not exactly. Kind of, sort of. I um, suppose we use the same venue. Um, <coughs> it's a one night a week league, and, uh, you know, it's. Uh, I, I think that their age requirements are different than ours. Mm -hmm. um, they, I think they just take any women, all ages. We have a restriction on ours, so oh. uh, 25 now, and over. There's been a kind of a loose um, organization of guys that would go out a certain night of the week. So there, has, is this the first time there's been a league here in that organized form? No, this is the third year um, in its existence. We... Uh, um, you know, we have guys that play together in different various smaller <coughs> leagues that you're referencing. Mm -hmm. They just kind of go around and yeah. and play against each other uh, or they'll meet up at a church on a, you know, weekend evening yeah. or something. Yeah. But, um, no, we, we've we had... Uh, I don't like their rules. Yeah. When they say foul. Yeah. Well, how can you call a foul? I mean, come on. We, uh, we <laughs> utilize the call your own uh, up until tournament play, which will hire uh -huh. uh, licensed officials to, yeah. to take care of that. But... Uh, you know, and that's part of the 25 and over. Um, you know, if you if you, you you're done with college, kind of the nightlife is over yeah. with. You typically established a family and responsibility. So, you know, getting in a slug match in an adult basketball league is just not your yeah. uh, thing to yeah. do. So that's kind of where the age requirement yeah. came up. And where where are the age is it just 25 and up? Or? 25 and up. Yep. Okay, All so together. once you get to be 50 year old men playing against 25 year old okay. men, yeah, and right. it's competitive. Um, you know, every year, uh, I don't care the age or the, the the amount of gray hair or lack thereof, any mm -hmm. hair. Um, you're very, it's always competitive. It's mm -hmm. amazing to mm -hmm. see what uh, what some of these guys can do, uh, even if they're you know in their 50s. You know, mm -hmm. so close to 60, still balling it up, still going. Yeah, who's your oldest guy? I have no idea. Well, I just make sure that it just they're not sure under 25, <laughs> you know. Um, we, we have some exceptions to that rule because we don't want to necessarily leave everybody out, you know. Um, so we, we allow two players between the ages of 21 and 25 mm -hmm. per team. So, uh, you know, if there's a, a cousin or something between yeah. the age that wants to play with his cousin, you know, we try to – we want to facilitate as many um, guys as we can. You know, we mm -hmm. want to allow – uh, give them the opportunity to play ball because that's that's why I did it. I wanted to play, so mm -hmm. I said, "Hey, can I do this?" and and got it started. Um, you know, and uh, the more the merrier. We don't want to turn anybody away. You know, we want to give them something to do. A lot of people want to know what there is to do for a mm -hmm. young man in, mm -hmm. in Harrison. Well, every Tuesday night there's a basketball league going mm -hmm. on, so mm -hmm. come play. Now, do you have? Uh, is it full five on five? Yes. Yes. Do you ever do a three on three at any? No, time? we we uh, you know if a team only had three players show up, then we encourage to let it go yeah. ahead and just play three on three ball. Yeah. But yeah. Um, you know it's five on five. We play short courts, which you know it's full yeah. court, but shorter courts. You at just the turn it center. sideways, right? We have to use center, so it uh, you know helps reduce the uh, impact on joints and stuff like right. that. Not quite as much running and gunning, so um, it works out real well for yeah. us down yeah. there. And then how does how it you keep your scoring? Is there a certain amount you really yeah, try to reach? Yeah, uh, each team will um, operate the score clock for one half. So it's a time period. Yep. Okay. Yeah, two 20-minute halves, running clock. Uh, clock stops during the final minute of each mm -hmm. half. So, you know, the kind of typical rules for pickup games and stuff. So Now, you're looking for new, new blood, I guess? Yeah. Or just returning people? Yeah, I need more people to take okay. to school. Our team name is the bus drivers. We take people to school. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, anybody and everybody. You know, my intent whenever I started this league was to see it grow. We've seen growth and we've seen decline. And, um, you know, I, the... This year, we're actually, I'm already seeing growth, and registration uh -huh. isn't uh -huh. even, you know, here yet. It's not until, uh, well, registration is underway, but uh, the deadline is February 15th for registration uh, uh -huh. for individuals, or you can sign up as a team, either or. Um, but really just want to grow this thing to where 
Uh, there's a lot of guys. You know, and it's it's not only fun to be competing on a basketball court, but, man, you meet so many cool guys out mm -hmm. there, you know, um, and you, you network with them. So if you're 25, 26, new to the area, and you want to meet some new, new guys, here's your chance. How many teams do you want total? I mean, what would be the ideal situation? I have no limit. You have no limit no. on this? Okay. Uh, I have, uh, but if you only play Tuesdays, I mean, you can, Tuesdays, well, I guess you can only I play can, two games at one time, I guess. I can play two games at a time on the split courts. So that's four I have three hours a night. Uh, you know, I could do three sets of games, so that's... Oh, okay. Um, and you got two, four, teams. six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve teams easily. And I could possibly squeeze in one late game if I had to, okay. if, we had, if we had enough, but... Um, yeah. There's plenty to grow, so you're not worried too much about that. have got room for that. growth, yeah. yeah. Uh, right now, I think we're looking at eight teams, so I have the ability to... Uh, so all the games of play here, you're not doing any traveling? or No, at some no, point? it's yeah. all about here. It's yeah. one night a week, um, depending at on the if youth we center, have... At the center, I'm going to let yep, that know. Yep. One hour, um, you dedicate one hour of a Tuesday night to come and play ball. I know it's hard for a lot of people to get away from family or, mm -hmm. um, you know, you're, you're working all week or whatever, but... You know, it's it's uh, it's good, and actually, we encourage families to come out and cheer on their dads. Um, it's very important to me that we uh, build on the family atmosphere at the youth center and come bring your families yeah. down to cheer for dad, restoring his glory days. You know, <laughs> last year I had a I'm not kidding. Last year I had a two hand monster jam, and it was one game that my family wasn't able to attend, and it yeah. was like. I was on cloud nine again because I had a monster dunk down there. and They weren't there. They weren't there. But, you know, I mean, I was still, you know, I still pro. Yeah. I felt pretty awesome about it. That's so. good. And you're playing. Yes. So you're not going to be going out of town any of these times. Uh, well, I'll miss the first game, okay. unfortunately, mm -hmm. for my team. Um, but they should be able to, to do okay. Actually made it to where, because I'm the commissioner of the league, I made it to where that game that I'm missing is a preseason, oh, non-counting game. A little behind-the-scenes so, yeah, VIP-ness going on. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's how I wow. do it. <laughs> that's how you roll. doesn't impact your record. <laughs> you know, that's how I like to do it. Well, uh, registration starting now. It's, yeah, underway right now. Uh, how can we get a uh, registration for um, We can contact me at, uh, at the office or on my cell phone would be preferred. Uh, the cell phone number is 754-1923. That's a local number here to Harrison, so you don't have to do an 870 area code. Um, it's a, and Verizon's enrolling their new number. 754-1923. Stop by my office at 122 East Rush. Um, you can contact the youth center and they can get you in touch with me if that's the easiest method for you. But uh, the deadline for registration is February 15th. We're going to have a preseason league meeting on the 12th, um, at which point we will uh, kind of get everybody together, discuss the rules of it, and, uh, you know, determine how many teams. And if we have individuals seeking a team, we'll put them on a team. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Sounds good. And your first game, when, when's the first game start? Uh, we're going to try to start that preseason game on February 19th if we 19th. can. Okay. Well, that's real soon, soon coming up. Yes. So get get your ball out and get to practicing yeah, out on that hoop. Out practice. Out. Nobody practice. Needs practice. <laughs> sure they do. Yeah. Have you seen me dribble? I haven't uh, dribbled in I several thought years. I saw you dribble in there, but <laughs> there you go. You, I walked into that one. Matt, thanks a lot for being here. Thank you for having me. And uh, if you're interested in round ball down there at the youth center, get a hold of Matt, and he'll be glad to point you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Our last guest is waiting out in the wings, and uh, she's going to be here. It's Mariah Thomas. She's been here on the show before, singing some songs, and also going to be talking about a chili dinner. Uh, uh, event that's coming up that they're promoting. So we'll talk to her and listen to her sing when we return. Stay with us.